Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, welcome to another one of my Fortnite videos, getting 800 V-Bucks for logging in today, which I guess isn't that bad, but that's not what this video is going to be about, it's going to be about super easy, crazy Storm King farming in Twine Peaks, public missions, group missions, and the first thing I want to highlight is the Wicked Wind Axe, I made mine bright core so that it has a fast attack speed, and this is one of the weapons in the game that deals the highest amount of environmental damage making it ideal for chopping off the horns of the storm king so if you have that even as an epic or in rare it is amazing i like using the crank shot as well it's just one of my favorite snipers in the entire game but i also really 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 like to use the obliterator because it almost one shots the horns of course depending on your loadout. A lot of players prefer the spyglass as well, so do consider these when you are farming the Storm King. In terms of loadouts, I like this as a sniper loadout because it allows me to pretty much one shot the horns, which is like pretty cool. So if you just want to be doing that and you want to be using a pickaxe, you can use the work work. Uh, but my my loadout, the one I like using, is with a Dragon Scorch, where I have a lot of maneuverability. I even have Fleet for faster moving. It is just really because movement in this game is super important. So obviously everything is just about moving around, staying alive, no, ignore the creep, don't that. fight the husks, just run away from them. And you can do that when you have fast movement speed, when you have uh, like phasing for Outlanders or Mance's Leap as a ninja. So in my opinion, movement speed is key when facing the Storm King in this new game because you need to take him down in less than 10 minutes. He will enrage at 10 minutes. So move around, try to position yourself so that you can shoot each and every one of these crystals so that the group is scattered. If you see the people being towards north, the other players go south or west or east so that you have a chance of taking down the crystal pretty fast. I like having adrenaline rush, I like being able to resurrect other players, so I have that also because we're getting some serious damage in this game when the Storm King starts going cray cray and he will do that eventually. So those are like key tips from me in regards to taking down the Twine Peak Storm King full player going in public missions wicked wind as you're going to be seeing now is absolutely amazing crucial in my opinion in order for you to take out these horns very very fast dealing 500 damage when i'm not critting but look at the crits here 2297 so crazy amounts of damage compared to what you will be doing with your pickaxe allowing you to solo these horns so that you can go in in public missions and no matter what kind of team you run into this was a great team don't get me wrong but if you're going to be going in with uh players that are less dedicated you will be able to take the storm king down in less than 10 minutes i'm trying to hide from this blast it doesn't seem to do much of an effect but i feel like the longer i am away from it the less damage i take i'm gonna be experimenting a lot more with that before we're going into the mythic storm king battle because i hope it is going to i hope this storm king battle is going to allow us to really practice strategies gear loadout so that we are prepared for the mythic battle but anyway as you can see here movement is key jumping away from these crazy things being able to heal even if you are playing less clumsy than i i do feel it is nice to be able to resurrect and heal other players and once again he is down i'm far away from him i could have double jumped over here but i wanted to make sure that everything was anchored in more places so i like building my own way up so that if these things here are smashed by husks then the platform we are standing on won't be removed even due to that so we have multiple anchors for the platform that we use for the horns once this is done, it's pretty much just taking him down with whatever kind of weapons you have to work with. It doesn't really matter. Normally, things like hover buzz are going to be taking him so. down. So normally, I just fire with whatever kind of weapons I have in my hands. But anyway, guys, this was super easy mode Storm King. Be sure to hit it in the comments if you have other cool weapons. A lot of players like to use pistols or like ARs for the horns as well there are a lot of cool options you can go with so put it down there if you have cool tips tricks and information 
That will make it easier for everyone of us to farm the Storm King and Twine Peaks because I didn't really know we could multiple complete the Kingslayer. I did it yesterday and today I completed the Kingslayer as well. So apparently this is like a 7 minute candy farm which is pretty cool because we also get evolution materials. For now guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for using my support creator ID Loka Hansen in the Epic Game Store. I absolutely love the support you guys are showing me. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the comment button, let me know what you think for even more Fortnite Save the World content. Bye guys.